Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this home page from scratch. First, we designed it using Figma and we also added a dark mode to our website. So if I click on this uh, dark switch, it changes to the dark mode. And if I click on this light switch, it changes to the light mode. Now we have already designed it using Figma and we are in the process of converting this to a real website. So this is our progress as of now. We have created the light mode of our website. Now in this video, we'll create the dark mode of our website. And whenever we click on this uh, dark mode button, the website should change to a dark mode and the light switch should be displayed over here. So let's get started. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a class called dark mode to the body whenever we want to have the dark mode. And when we have the dark mode class in the body, we're going to change these values over here for these colors. So we're going to change the dark variable to the light color. So let me just add the class over here. So I'll just type body dot dark mode and make sure that you don't have any space between these two elements because we need to add the dark mode class to the body. So let's copy these uh, color variables from here. And we don't need to copy the color of the logo because it's going to be the same. So let's copy all these four variables from here and I'll just paste them over here. And I'll just change the names. So for the dark, we'll just name it as light. So whenever we use the light variable, it will use this dark color over here. And let's change this to dark. And here instead of dark BG, I'll just type light BG. And here I'll just type dark BG. All right, now let's go back to our design and we can see that there's no problems. All right, now let's add the dark mode to the body. So let's go back to our HTML. And here in the body, I'll just add a class. And uh, the class is called dark mode. And let's save it and let's go back to our design. And now we can see that our website has the dark mode. So all the light colors have changed to the dark color and the dark colors have changed to the light color. Now we need to make this dark and light switches work. So whenever we click on these switches, the website should change to the dark and the light modes. Now if you go back to our HTML and if we remove this uh, dark mode class from here, then we can see that our website changes to the light mode. Now let's add some JavaScript to make this button work. So let's go back to our HTML and we need to reference some elements from the HTML. So we need to reference the dark and the light switches. And we also need to reference the body because we need to add the class. So let's reference all of these in our JavaScript file. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have already linked our JavaScript file over here. So let's go to our main.js file and let's create a constant. I'll just name it dark switch. And we'll set it equal to document.querySelector. And we have a class called dark switch. And let's also reference the light switch. So I'll just type const light switch equals document.querySelector light switch. And we also need to reference the body. So I'll just type const body equals document dot query selector body. Now, whenever we click on the dark switch, we need to add a class called dark mode to the body. So let's type dark switch dot add event listener. And we will listen for the click event. And I'll just create an arrow function over here. Let's type body dot class list dot add. And we'll add the dark mode class. And when we are in the dark mode, we need to remove the active class from the dark switch. So if you go back to the style.css file, we can see that for the dark and the light switches, we have added a class called active. So when we have the active class, the switch is displayed. So when we click on the dark mode switch, we need to remove the active class from the dark switch and we need to add it to the light switch. So let's type dark switch dot class list dot remove and I'll just type active and light switch dot class list dot add and we'll add the active class over here. And let's also add an event listener for the light switch. So I'll just copy this and paste it down here. And I'll just change this to light switch. And uh, here we need to remove the dark mode class from the body. So I'll just type remove. And uh, here for the dark switch, we will add the active class. So I'll just type add over here. And in the light switch, we'll just type remove. So we need to remove the active class from the light switch and add it to the dark switch. Now let's go back to the CSS and we'll also add a transition so that we will have smooth animation for these dark and light switches. So I'll just type transition and we'll set all to 500 milliseconds. All right, now let's go to our design and let's see whether everything works all right. So let's click on this dark switch. And we can see that our website has changed to the dark mode. 
and let's click on this light switch and uh, we are taken to the light mode so everything works all right we have the dark and the light switches working all right now there's one issue with our dark mode so when we click on this button and when we go to the dark mode now if we refresh our page we are taken back to the light mode so we need to make sure that the browser knows that the website was in the dark mode so whenever we are in the dark mode and if we refresh the page the page should still be in the dark mode now for that we're going to use local storage inside the browser so let's go back to our javascript and whenever we add the dark mode to our website we're going to also add some value to the local storage now to add a value to a local storage you can just type local storage dot set item and we have to add a key and a value so i'll just type dark mode you can add any name over here and for the value i'll just type true now when we go back to the light mode we're going to remove this dark mode local storage so here in the light switch i'll just type local storage dot remove item and i'll just type dark mode now let's go back to our design and let me show you where the local storage is stored so i'll just right click over here and go to inspect and you have to go to application and here we can see we have this option called local storage so let's click on that and here we have the website so let's click on that we don't have any values as of now now let's click on this dark switch and let's go back to our local storage and here we can see we have this dark mode and we have this value over here now let's click on this light switch and now we can see that the value is removed all right so now let's go back to our javascript and we're going to check whether we have the local storage dark mode available and if we have that we're going to add the dark mode to the body so here we'll just add an if condition and here i'll just type local storage dot get item and here we'll type dark mode now this will return true if we have the dark mode inside the local storage so if you have the dark mode local storage we're going to add the dark mode to the body so i'll just type body dot class list dot add dark mode and we also need to remove this dark switch and we need to add the light switch so i'll just type dark switch dot class list dot remove active and light switch dot class list dot add and active now let's see whether it works so let's go back to our design and let's click on this dark switch and now the website has the dark mode now let's refresh this page and now we can see we still have the dark mode because we have the local storage so even if you refresh this page it will still have the dark mode but the light switch is not being displayed so let's go back and let's see whether we have any problems so here we can see we have written class name it should be class list All right now let's go back and now we can see we have the light switch as well so everything works all right let's click on the light switch and now we are in the light mode and even if we refresh this page we are still in the light mode so that's basically how you create a home page with a dark mode from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.